My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna make the most basic tomato sauce. Stay tuned. So what we're gonna need today is some garlic, one large onion, some tomato paste, salt, pepper, and some good quality tomatoes, basil, and olive oil, preferably an organic extra virgin olive oil. Don't chintz on the tomatoes, use a whole tomato, don't use dice or pureed because you're just going to get additives and preservatives. Try to use a San Marzano tomato. Uh, the, the better the quality, the better the end product. So we'll just start. We're going to start with an onion. So we're going to cut the onion. All right. Take it off, pop it on. It's really simple to do. I have my garbage can here. So this is a real simple, simple, simple tomato. And we'll use, I don't know, four or five cloves of garlic. You can never use enough garlic. Once you cook it, you're gonna get rid of that intense flavor. You're gonna just get that bitterness. So when you cook it, you're just gonna get a ton of flavor. So I use a lot of garlic. It's good for you. Whack it. You hear that little snap? You pull it back, you cut the other end, and it just comes right out. Let's look at that. This is gorgeous garlic. And uh, I believe in the next video we're going to do is a um, meatball sub that will be using this tomato sauce in. So you can uh, click the link above to check that out. So, we're going to just finely chop these. At the end of this tomato sauce, we're going to puree it. So, just want to fine chop. Look at that gorgeous garlic. And that's it. We're going to go to the pot. So, we're going to just go to the pot with the onion. Right in. Garlic in. That's exactly what you want to see happening. A little bit of salt. Cracked pepper. As usual, I love pepper, so I put a little extra. You can put a little less, whatever you want. Get this going. Now this, you don't have to do this, but I like to deglaze it a bit. That's optional. You don't have to do that, but I feel, I love that flavor. It reminds me of my grandmother in Italy. All right. Real simple. Like I said, use whole tomatoes. In, in. A few nice tablespoons of tomato paste. Gotta use it all. And I'll get a little bit of my basil. And how easy was that? We're gonna let this stew for at least 45 minutes. I might bring my knife in and just kind of cut these tomatoes in half. And uh, now, you saw me doing this live. That took nothing. It's real easy to do. We'll turn it down to around five. We're going to cover it and uh, just let it simmer for about five minutes. And if you smell this right now, it is amazing. So, basic, simple tomato sauce. You can do anything with it. You can actually fry up a pound, pound and a half of beef, and you can add it to this. I recommend you remove all the drippings from the meat because that's just fat and that's not really good for you. You can go that way, but you can make spaghetti, lasagna, anything with this basic sauce, and you'll see when it's done. The sauce has been simmering at around four on the stove top for about 30 minutes. It's totally done. Basic, simple sauce. We're gonna emulsify it. Just to let you know, at this point, it's still vegan. So you can use it for tomato sauce, for spaghetti, for lasagna, whatever you want. Put it on a veal sandwich, whatever floats your boat. But this, 
the basic, authentic, delicious, all top quality products. And you saw how easy it was to prepare. It's, everybody can do it. So, that's pretty much it. You are good to go. I'm just going to have a little taste. See if it needs anything. Oh shit. Excuse me. It's delicious. Wow. Keep it simple. I always say use the kiss factor. Keep it simple, stupid. And I'm referring to myself when I say stupid. But it's delicious. So as usual, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time when we do a killer meatball Super Bowl sub that everybody's going to go crazy for. And we're actually going to use the sauce in it. See you then.